So, Aglet, Red Jigglypuff, Junebug, Red Cheek versus Lod, Green Peach, and the Smash God, Green Marth Baby. Uh, I'll get right back to you guys. I gotta finish a few things. Be patient, please. Thank <laughs> you. 
Check, check. There I am. I'm good. It's perfect. Hello, everybody. It's Fendi. And then just save, right? Yeah, I got it. All right. So Aglet and Junebug. I gotta be real. This is a very sensitive microphone. Aglet and Junebug up game one. But Smash got lined up to a huge lead here. A lot of percent on a lot, but really pretty relevant. I actually love those down tilts to cover the ledge. Um, a lot of puffs will just try and, and shark the ledge uh, with no real. <laughs> okay. Um, so we'll try and just go to ledge, uh, assuming it'll be open for free. And that down tilt just covers a lot, especially if it causes them to jump above ledge and you can just F smash. Because you can use I A S A frames. But yeah, so we got 1 1 here. This is grand finals. So we have a Xanadu monthly. We don't have that many entrants, but we have a stacked roster. Uh, pretty much, I want to say like. 14 of our 20 PR members are here. Um, we're missing Chillin' and Chew. We're missing Red and Milkman. But pretty much everybody else here, Lod, Smash God, Junebug, Aglet, Zane, uh, Juice Box, myself, Ace of Flakes, Nurok, a lot of people. But already, Junebug deep off stage for good recovery. And I love the fact that Aglet goes for so many rests and doubles. Uh, he understands that, well, that was beautiful. Resting the, the F Smash on shield. And Junebug doing a great job keeping him preoccupied so he couldn't go punish. But he does, they do get the stock. Oh, a lot with no regard for human life. I love that too. I mean, basically, so Aglet on one side going for a lot of rests. Um, you know, high risk. Or, no, excuse me, pretty low risk and doubles high reward. And that down smash that Lod does uh, can be the same. Look at that. He was going for the most just random rest. But there it is again. And look at Junebug doing a great job of getting Smash God away, but Lod capitalizing and punishing. And what a recovery by Smash God. It's so scary getting knocked underneath that ledge as Marth. Great stuff to turn around using the side B and then just be able to recover. Is Junebug recovering. So a very even game so far. Smash God missing his PC drop. Now he has no jump, but he does come back. Green team holding center stage, and the Nair is going to kill Junebug. And June just got a look at that pickup. Nair, maybe not the greatest choice by Aglet, but I do like the back throw. Uh, oh, and that up to killing at 95%. That was like the very bare minimum. That's going to be huge for Green Team. So we can get some extra credit on these stocks. Oh, Junebug accidentally saving Smash. Got up to get down smashed. But Aglet, excuse me, Junebug does pick up the kill. And now it's Law trying to hold on to that stock, getting some percent on Aglet. Oh, yeah, I was going to say super dangerous stuff by Smash God just going way off stage, uh, burning the jump, dying at 19%. That's actually a huge swing because now red team does have a slight lead. Percentage does favor green team, but uh, that was pretty ill-advised by Smash God. Oh, and I like that Aglet just sitting in shield, waiting out the down smash by a lot. He's going to look to go in and punish. That F smash not going to kill quite yet, but the coverage right there. Great save by Aglet, and Smash God is dead again. Man, that's just huge. And he doesn't space the tipper, and Aglet's going to live again. So, again, I love the drill. The drills by Aglet are just so good. Oh, but that covering underneath the ledge. Now we got last stock. But this could have been way different. Smash God just killing himself twice. A little careful. Ooh. Junebug got a lot of stage. Nice air dodge back on. And Sprinter's back and forth. Oh, what a wave dash back grab by, by uh, Smash God. Oh, and he gets the back air. But still, so jump. Oh, and Aglet tried to get a reverse fair, but to put him back on stage. And look at I love that. Lot was already going towards the fourth throw direction just to get a punish off of that. Uh, this is so close. 
basic. Oh, I was gonna say that Fire from Ledge, super dangerous by Junebug, but Aglet reading that Lada's gonna try and punish and actually punished him back. And right now, Lada's got to come back. He does. The green team with center stage. Oh, turnips galore. And everybody right around kill percent. Oh, is I was gonna say, is Aglet gonna pick up? No, but Junebug will. So much lag on that up beyond. So now Lot's gonna have to try and do it himself, which I mean if you get one there. Oh, but that's it. Great drop down there from Ledge by Junebug. And it's 2-1. I don't remember what their team name is. They have a silly team name, but 2-1. So I missed game one. I don't know where these guys struck. So looks like we're going to FD for game four. And already Junebug off stage. And look at this green team just commanding center stage. It's so hard to get these uh, multi-hit combos on a team that has Puff Sheik. Like we saw a lot get a good hit on Agla, but no real follow-up. But lots of percent. And oh, what a space rest to only hit Smash Go. That was actually, that was nuts. That was crazy. Um, and again, just Junebug doing a great job of saving him. And that should do it for Aglet, but what a rest on that grab. That's the danger if you're if your green team holding on for so long. Aglet can just run in there and, and get a rest. And that's gonna do it for, for Lot Stock. And once again, going for that rest, not a real danger. He took 18%. So definitely take that. Oh, and I think Junebug didn't think he was gonna get there in time. Dash attack, no follow up though. Oh, no jump for Juice Box, or excuse me, June Bug. Oh, that was so dangerous. That side B by the ledge by Smash God. All right, that tried to work out nicely for Green Team. Lon's gonna live. And so much percent on Aglet. She's able to bounce away for free. A great couch cancel as well. well meanwhile, a lot over there handling June Bug, and somehow Aglet kills himself. Too many JUs. June Bug, Juice Box. Oh, connects to the puff on Lon, but that should be Smash God stop. Yep. Great shark by Aglet to get the back air. Oh, that might kill. Oh, the next one. Well, there you go. Good up air by Aglet. And again, very close game. And look at Smash God throwing Aglet and immediately knowing that Junebug was going to come in and punish. So he crouch canceled the dash attack. Uh, didn't get popped up. So that was big. Oh, that? Yeah, it's going to kill Aglet. Great up smash by Lon. Now Junebug has to up to come back. And once again, Agla doing a great job of just getting in there and causing some havoc. And man, Smash God is just dancing with death. Oh, wow. <laughs> a lot going for it all. But now a lot of percent on Agla. So everybody else was on their third stock, just getting a lot of percent. But Agla down to his last stock. Oh, and again, that down tilt just covering the ledge. Oh, Smash God. So dangerous. And he does come back, timing it perfectly with a get up by Junebug. But no jump there. So he does die. But again, 152% on, on Junebug, 111% one up tilt uh, on Aglet. And Junebug tried to get in there and help Aglet, but he got clipped by the down smash. Actually ended up killing him. So I don't think there are any more jumps. Great air dodge on. And that should do it for Aglet. Yep, now so it's down to just. June bug. Oh, no jump. So dangerous on FD as Sheik against Smart. Burning that double jump early because if you get caught with one up air, one up tilt, you're just going to get juggled. Oh, grab the ledge. Oh, he misses it. Oh, but he gets the fade back. And great shield by Smash God, knowing that the Nair was coming from Lod. And this should do it. We should be going to a game five. Yep. All right. Game five here, set one. We'll see if Aglet and June bug can force a game or a second set, but... We're gonna see where they decide to go. There's only one stage left. All right, so Dreamland it is. They kept the puff, I guess, trump card in the back pocket. Oh, and Smash got looking for an early kill on Aglet, but good 
Uh, spacing on the double jump, coming back to ledge by Aglo to avoid it. Oh, but great tech chasing on, on Junebug by Smash God. Uh, so dangerous. Just using all your jumps and all your recovery stalls by the ledge as, uh, as Marth. And again, look, he gets... Smash God had an up throw on Junebug, and Aglo just immediately back airs him out of the throw animation. No follow-up available. Still no jump on Junebug, but he'll be okay. And air popped him the wrong way. All right, so now can Smash God close out this edge guard? The fair into... I couldn't even see what move that was. Um, but I, So that up be early by Junebug, I actually like. Aglo's been doing a great job of using Drill to save. So that's good teammate trust, but just barely didn't quite work out. Oz well, got to get over there and help Smash God. Smash God somehow able to thread the needle and come back. Junebug doing a great job of crouching against with that down tilt to get a punish on uh, Smash God, but he had so much percent that he actually just floated up to the platform. But that's going to do it for both green team members. And still a lot of percent on Agla, but he's on the first stop. We Agla got his sights on Lana. Oh, he accidentally put Junebug to sleep. It didn't make that big of a difference, but <laughs> that was funny. All right, so pretty even game here. Uh-oh. Agla going way deep. Juma doing a great job of keeping Smash God occupied so Agla can come back. Oh, so dangerous again. I like the way that the green team positions themselves, too, where Smash God is generally the aggressor in two-on-two -two situations. Like, they're doing a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, but Smash God, oh, uh, that should, yep. Great edge guard by, by Junebug. Still a lot of percent on June, a lot of percent on Aglet. Decent amount of percent on Lot. He'll be able to live uh, a lot of different things. Oh, and he's trying to Omsa tech it, but accidentally goes off stage and misses the, the tech. So that's a that's a big stock. Could have lived a little bit longer. Oh, yep. So once again, no punish on the rest. 4%. Just one little jab from his teammate. Definitely worth going for. Oh, and I like the F throw to try and use Agla as a projectile and also keep uh, Junebug on his toes. But that's an early death by Smash God, 84%. And they got to kill Junebug, 167. Should not be living that long. And I like the target switch by Smash God. Just throw Agla into June, allow Law to come back easily. And that should finally do it. That's a big tipper at 187. But stocks are even, but a ton of percent on Law, decent amount of percent on Agla as well. But that should do it for Lot stock. Oh, and I like that decision by Smash God to hold on. Just take the pound. It was both of them. And Junebug, actually, no jump here. Oh, again. He's going to get there in time. Wow, what a let go. Making him go on the platform, getting the up air. And now red team, you know, even stocks, but a lot of percent on June. But if they can get his kill on Smash God and force him to take that second lot stock, Loud's been doing a great job of stock tanking. That's going to be a big swing. Um, we haven't seen any rests here in game five, too. I know angler has got to be looking for one. Um, great shield pressure by him, just kind of going over and around Smash God's shield. Oh, dangerous situation here for Smash God. He's got both red team members right there, but both of them miss. And now they have a two-on-one on Aglet as Junebug tries to recover, and he kills Aglet with a huge dare. And if I were a lot, yeah, i just go in there and nair him. All right, so that's it down to Aglet's last stock. What a turn of events. What a huge downer by Smash God. Um, and Aglet is going to have to play out of his mind to get these kills. You know, he has 0%, so he's got fresh stock, but it's just so hard. Because um, not only do you have to get the Smash God kill, but then you have, you know, a lot of stock left in that lot. All right, there you go. So Smash God right now. Oh, that's a stitch. That's a huge 30% in this matchup. Even if it doesn't kill, just getting that percent. So big, and I guess Smash God electing to have a lot just finish it out one on two, two stocks to one. Pretty bold. Oh, no follow up. I thought that drill was going to lead it up. Smash, oh, he got the jump, so he's going to have to up B. Oh, accidentally puts it back on him with the reverse fair. Try to get him off stage. Uh, and all these trades are going to work out for a lot for sure right now. You're just trying to build up as much percent as you can. You know that you're not going to get a kill for a while. Um, and that, oh, nice up smash on the shield. All right, can Aglet bring it back? And reset the bracket in the one-on-two situation. Oh, he's got a Mr. Saturn. Don't shield. Oh, throws him away. The homie. 
I like that just mini dash dance that Lod's doing, just holding center stage. Got an air on there, so 70. These trades, once again, are going to work out nicely for Lod. Rest! Is that it? Oh, and he gets the rest for the reset! The up tilt rest killing at 47. Wow, we that was that was big. And that's another we could we could be here for a while. <laughs> oh, whoops, that was not what I meant to do. Alright, whatever, I'll just do it again. I just I'll make it happen again. Oh, you want the ampersand? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no! Oh no! There we go. All right. Oh, I gotta put I gotta put L in there too, because they're both the losers now. That was crazy. All right. So. Yeah, that was that was clutch. That was clutch as it comes. All right, so here we go, back into it for set two of doubles grand finals here at the Xanadu Monthly, and wow, we just what a uh, a performance by Agla in the last game to force a two on one situation. Um, so singles is happening intermediately. We have uh, I'm pretty sure we're like winners top 16, but these four guys obviously don't have a chance to play. Um, all right, great air dodge back on. Actually, I kind of want to hop off and play play my singles match. I want to let me see. Zane, drop life. What? Oh. All right, never mind. So I guess we are waiting until the double is double, so I will continue to commentate. Um, all right, so the one-on-one -on -one situations here. That drill doing really nicely by Agla to get Smash God off stage. He has no jump, and that's going to do it for Smash God. Oh, that bear coming in, it was, looks like... He was at the right percent where if you get a DI mix-up, Pivot Tipper is definitely on the table. Uh, but Lod coming in there and, and punishing instead. Oh, that little cannonball. Oh, rest. And that actually will work out nicely for green team. 100% on a lot of that point. They got the Junebug kill in exchange. I actually don't mind that if I'm Smash God Lod. I mean, obviously, it's nice to get the kill on Lod for sure, but uh, definitely could have been worse. Oh, I was going to say that down Smash God platform. That's going to kill Aglet. And now Lod going in there. Dealing a ton of percent on Junebug, already 83. All right, Lod trying to go approach June on the top of the cliff. So we got to be careful. Smash God threw that shield break out. Not the greatest DI, and that might do it barring a save. Oh, wait a second. Never mind. That was amazing. Great down there by Lod, keeping him in, and he just missed the ledge. Not the greatest he on the slap, but Smash God again gonna come over there and make life hard, but not enough, and they do get the kill. Is that puff? That's actually not too bad to get burned like that. You just get to go up, reset. Um, great spacing, a little bit off the tipper, but once again, you'll take a medium or a tipper hit on a on a grabbed opponent, and he'll hit a lot, especially when he's at such low percent. So I like that decision. Oh, rest? Oh, no. He got knocked away by Junebug at the last second. That was actually a decent amount of percent, too. That was like 30-something percent missing that rest. But once again, he hasn't, like, died for it. How's Lod going to get in there? Great! Wow, what a back air by Aglet on Lod to allow him to set up that rest. That was incredible. So Red Team got themselves a pretty chunky lead here. They got to get a kill soon. They do get the kill on, excuse me, on Junebug. Still a lot of percent on Smash God. And he gets the rest out of Shield again. Agless Rest have been on point this game one, and all of a sudden, yeah, four stocks to one. Smash God about his lonesome. Yeah, you gotta ask yourself, man, at the end of game five, was the right decision letting Smash God hold on to that stock? I don't know, or uh, Lod go on? I don't know. And all I need is a is a grab, or or that. He has no jump. That's it. All right, so 1-0 for Aglet and June. All right. That was nutty. <laughs> I'm I'm definitely not wearing a suit. <laughs> I'm wearing my Smash. I'm wearing my Swedish Delight jersey. <laughs> All 
All right, so they're gonna go to Yoshi's where we saw them win game two in the first set. So if there's anything, it looks like it's gonna be a lot of the of the first, um, like the first set where they went Pokemon to start, Aglan June one, and they went Yoshi's here, and we'll see if Smash Guy and Lot can get the W like they did last set. But that's a big rest early, and you know that's the one positive about being Puff on the stage is that your rests are gonna kill so early. Um, where in you know other stages it might be a chance to live, but you are gonna die really early. I don't know what killed him out of the fracas in there, but he did die. So pretty even again. A lot of got a decent amount of percent. Ooh, Smash guy got a combo going on June Bug. A lot of percent, but he now he has no jump. <laughs> so dangerous to be in the corner like that. Yeah, you know Peach doesn't have greatest ledge options, so you can't like retreat to ledge, get him its ability. Just, that was really dangerous and good pickup by Aglet to get the F smash. Oh, Junebug now with no jump. Great coverage by Green Team. Smash God holding on the ledge. Lod covering the platform. Oh, that was so good by Junebug to get the down tilt. I'm surprised it didn't lead in anything. But now again, off stage, huge back air is coming in. And he clips Junebug, but Junebug does get the nair coming back on. Oh, and the fair. Aglet trying to get in there and break up the grab that Smash Gotta had on Junebug, but was uh, unsuccessful and actually got caught by Lod. So, again, even stocks, but a lot of percent on Lod, but a decent amount of percent tacking on Junebug as well. Great wave dash in on that F tilt on Shield. And no punish, and actually gets the stock for it. That was a big swing as well. Oh, I thought we might see a rest uh, attempt right there. Can he space the tipper? Nope. But he does get the pivot right there, and that's going to kill for sure. All right. Oh, so dangerous. Aglet was waiting for the grab attempt, but didn't come from Smash God. Good patience. And that might do it for June. Yep. Oh, and that Randall actually uh, helping out Smash God. You know, June Bug, or excuse me, Aglet was expecting him to just go on stage, but he was able to get to the platform. Been able to live a little longer, but June Bug cleaning up that stock, and it's even pretty much the difference between um, is that Lod has a decent amount of percent and the second stock. That's a rest on Smash God, and it's once again gonna be close. Aglet gonna take the stock. It took him a little bit to do so, but he's in there. And now Lod, the only one with a lot of percent. Oh, Edge got opportunity here. I'm just able to go back on stage. Oh, careful. Great DI down by Lod, just able to bounce off the ground. No serious danger. But, you know, <laughs> it's weird to say, but Aglet is definitely a kill percent. If you get one tipper. Oh, he gets up aired into the back airs by Aglet. Aglet accidentally getting him with a reverse. Oh, that's going to kill Aglet at 78%. And now Junebug does have a decent amount of percent. And he has no jump right here. And the coverage is going to do it. Wow, what a steal of a game by Green Team. Uh, that was a huge turn of events that back are killing really early and so we got 1-1 one, one. my mouse yeah that coverage was amazing smash god had lot or smash god had the ledge covered and lot was you know he was basically said that if you have to up beyond you're going exactly right here on the platform so 1-1 one, one again Oh, and that dash attack actually not knocking Smash God out of the grab. It just hit them both, but the throw armor allowed Junebug to continue. And right now, I like this decision by Red Team to just go for the two-on-one when you knock the Peach off stage. There's so much that Peach can do to make her recovery tricky enough to uh, avoid two-on-ones. So just switching targets and going for uh, a defenseless Smash God is definitely what you're looking for. A lot of percent on everyone here. Great shield drop. And still living. Oh, is he? Oh, and the quickest down air. Both of them got knocked away. And and June, excuse me, Smash God was able to get the tip uh, the down air on Aglet, and he lined up the tip around June Bug. So now the only one with the first stock still is Smash God. That should do it for him. Ah, just going in with these airs. One on two didn't even matter. He still got a decent amount of percent. Grabs everywhere. 
Back throw to get Smash got off stage, but he's able to just get back to ledge pretty easily. And again, now Junebug 120%. Interesting decision by Smash God to back throw. Or I missed if it was back throw down there. But basically put him back in stage um, when he could have just put him off and could have either had a recovering Junebug situation or a two on one. But that's going to do it for, for June. And a ton of percent on Aglet as well. But, you know, that might kill. Not quite. But very close. Gray falling up there. Looking like Fox. That was. Brilliant kill decision by Lod. Oh, that's going to do it for Smash God. That's a huge kill at 76%. And right now, we're back to even here. Game three, everybody's at their third stock. Uh, slight percent lead for green team, but, you know, when you have a puff on your team, it's somewhat irrelevant. Oh, a lot of percent taken on by Smash God right there. All right, so they're going to just kind of hold on. Don't really decide to go for any one target. Oh, and that tipper on Agla actually kept alive by Lod. But the down tilts again are going to cover and get uh, a little bit of space for Lod to come back on stage. But that was crazy. All right, not going to kill Aglet quite yet. And then Nair's spacing was incredible. Oh, barely getting the ups, missing the up smash. Uh, but the Nair, I love that on Junebug. It only got Junebug, did not hit Lod. And that should be whatever. Yep, down smash is going to do it, even if he's technically still alive. Just got to grab ledge, but he doesn't grab ledge, but they get the Lod kill. And somehow Smash God dies as well. So basically, if Green Team can get this Aglet kill, um, and they have a decent percent lead on Junebug, there it is. So now you just got to get rid of June. But he's doing a good job of uh, staying alive while Aglet's coming back. And there's an up tilt rest, and that is it. 38%. Aglet getting the clutchest rest. Uh, back to back, just over and over. It's crazy. But again, this is not over. All Lot has to do is get one fair on 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 Junebug. And he's got himself one on one situation with Lot or uh, with Aglet. Excuse me. And that was atrocious DI by Junebug. That was just straight up awful. Um, and now it's one on one here. Oh, reads the roll. Oh, the double turn, but no follow up. The up is going to do it. Lot bringing it back in the one on two. Everybody getting their 1v2 comebacks in here in grand finals. And now it's 2 1 for Smash God and Lod. What a comeback. Wow. All right, so then you're going to go back to Battlefield. All right, Lot off stage. Great air by Smash God on Aglet to allow a lot to come back. And just so much percent on Junebug already. And Smash God still sitting with zero. Finally, the, off the shield drop back air, Junebug able to get some percent on Smash God. But Oh. Green team with center stage. Yeah, I like the reservation by Smash God there. Not necessarily going for any. Oh, that was amazing spacing. Getting the tipper down smash. That was so smart knowing that was going to kill off the top. Wow, that was that was crazy. Um, and that's a huge early kill, too. 80% on Puff. Anytime you can get that, you'll definitely take it. Ooh, great fares from ledge by, by Smash God, but Aglet catching him. And now both red team off stage. And the up tilt into back air going to kill Junebug. And there it is. The down tilt just gets some crucial percent for the air dodge. All right, green team with a slight lead. Lot again. Oh, he does get the pivot tipper. Another 80% kill on Aglet. Uh, that's a stark difference from a lot of the other games we've seen. And once again, that rest is not that bad of a of a trade for green team. They got 26% on Aglet, and a lot of it was well in the hundreds. So one stock lead, but a lot of percent on Junebug, too. No, that, that was just a huge, huge turn of events. And that's going to be – that's the rest you want. So that's killing at 60-something. I like the hold off on, on the rest attempt by Aglet. Because if he did, even if he got it, he was going to get killed by the other one. And Junebug still had a jump in there somehow. He does come back. And that'll kill up smash. And a lot of percent on Smash Guy, a lot of percent on Aglet. And great carrying off the stage by Junebug. And again, now it's pretty even. That early rest kill on Lod was so crucial by Aglet. Fair, not quite going to do it just yet, but now they have a two-on-one on Junebug here, 
And the down smash on shield, definitely not advisable. But no punish from Smash God on the recovering June. But a lot of percent on a lot of different people. Oh, and that side B is so close to ledge. Good punish by Aglet. You, you can't be doing that. It's just so easy and reactable to, to get with the back air. So red team now ahead a little bit. After green team was pretty consistently ahead, that up air is going to kill. Um, but it's very even now. And, I mean, once again, not a bad rest attempt by Aglet. Only took 13% for it. And that rest, nope, not there. Great mash by Smash God. And they got to get rid of this uh, this June bug. And conversely, they got to get rid of Lod. Both these guys holding on to stock. Such, such deep percents. Oh, and he spaces the tipper. But Lod dies as well. And everyone on the last stock and green team clutch it out here and win. Or are we going to see a game five? It's basically, I think it's going to come down if Agla can get another rest. We've seen a lot of them here in this game. Oh, Smash got off stage. Great run over by Lod, but again, dangerous situation. He gets clipped by the up B. He's able to come back. Oh, and Smash God trying to get a shield poke on Junebug. Just so close on the platforms, but not quite. All right. Oh, little mini team combo by Green Team. And look at that. I like Lod. Lower percent. He's the only one under 90 right here. So he's going to go in first. A lot of percent on everybody else. And that should do it for Aglet. And once again, it's going to come down to Junebug. Can he get the Smash God kill? But no, they cannot. And that is it. The Malhotra Bros win here at Xanadu Monthly. Uh, but what a phenomenal uh, set of games, both in set one and set two. So good stuff to them. Uh, good stuff to June. And Aglet actually lost kind of early. They lost to Mom and Juicebox and ran it all the way back to, uh, to the Grands and reset. So good stuff to them. We are going to go into singles now. Um, we're, we're somewhere in the round of 16s, etc. So, some good ones to watch. Uh, I have to play Zane. That'll be fun. I think we're going to see something like Wenbo and Lod. I think we're going to see... Um, who else? There's like some really... like I think like maybe and, and Plank or something like that too. A lot of good players here. Once again, we're just missing Richmond and Chillin' and Chew. But everybody else in the building, Lod. So let's see. From from a PR, we have Smash God, Lod, Zane, June, Plank Hat, Jerry. Um, we're missing Milkman. We're missing Red. Um, cool Lime, Aglet, Cipher, myself, Nurok, Ace of Flakes, Juice Box. So 14 of our 20 PR members here. Mom should be 15, uh, but. Left off the PR for inactivity, but here he is sitting down. He's going to be playing against Cool Lime, the guy who took out Captain Smuckers at Royal Flush with the reverse 3-0. Uh, lost to Leffen and Sfat for, for 25th. That is that is rough, but this is going to be rough too. Peach Valley Climbers. I want to get off and, and play, um, but yeah, so we got Mom and Cool Lime sitting down here. Cool Lime number 12 on the PR, I believe. Either t yeah, 12. Oh, Wembo too. So, what is it? Like 15 members of our PR here? It's crazy. <sighs> All right. So, I'm going to hop off, but enjoy this mom, hot mom action. Uh, mom, mom versus Cool Lime. Uh, and, yeah. So, I mean, all these sets are going to be super good players. You know, we only have 30 something people here, but everybody is good. So, everything from here on out is going to be top level, which is exciting. So, enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. I'll probably be back on later for top eight, um, assuming I <laughs> don't catch fire and get there myself, but I got to play Zane. So enjoy this Peach versus Ice Climbers, and perhaps you'll see some wobbles, but I'll see you guys later.